Hi everyone. With this week's HQ challenge, we're going on still doing the short answer questions, you telling me what you know. So, what is this airway and how does it work? This airway, you see you've got two independent lumina up here to ventilate through. This is called a double lumen in the tracheal tube. Are you gonna see it that often? Probably not. Maybe this is area dependent, but here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we don't see it a lot. Um, it's probably used more in the operating room for certain type of surgeries, but let me kind of show you how it works. What we have here is basically two tubes that are stuck together. And this the person is intubated with these, this tube, and the long tube goes down into one of the main stem bronchus. This, is, this one is made to go to the left, okay? So the person is intubated with this. The long tube goes down into the main stem bronchus, and there's an opening right here so that um, you can ventilate just into one lung. The shorter tube terminates right here, and it sets right above the carina so that you can ventilate the other lung separately. So this is really what it looks like. It's, this is gonna be a really ugly picture, so um, just work with me here. All right, here's your airway. Carina and main stem bronchus, right? All right, so two tubes stuck together. I'm gonna just draw the first tube first. Okay, here's the first tube that's designed to go into the airway. All right, there's a little cuff that'll seal it off, and then you can bag separately to this one lung. Now, next to it, okay, it's two tubes, right? So here's the other tube that stops just short of the carina, and there is an opening here. So when you blow up the cuff, it seals off the upper airway, and now we've got two channels I can bag, or I can ventilate this lung, but then I can have another ventilator and ventilate this lung. So it's for independent lung ventilation. So um, probably the easiest way to understand this is in surgery. Let's say we have a person that's going to have their a, a right pneumonectomy. They're gonna remove their right lung. We can't put a standard ET tube in because the, the um, breath from the ventilator is gonna go to both lungs and you can't have one lung moving while you're trying to excise it. So in that case, you can use a double lumen ET tube, drop this one down to the left main stem bronchus and just ventilate the left lung while you're doing surgery on the right lung. This can also be used um, in cases where somebody has a unilateral lung disease that there is really, really bad compliance issues and the other lung is relatively normal. If you put a standard ET tube in and have that situation, all of the mechanical ventilated air is gonna go to preferentially towards the good lung because it's easier to inflate and you'll have volume trauma or barotrauma because of that. So um, this allows you to, you could have two separate ventilators, one ventilating the bad lung, one ventilating the good lung at two different tidal volumes so you don't cause injury. So double lumen ET2, so, uh, hope this helps. See you soon.